what's good everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody having a good day um all right man we hopping into the new vanderbilt dynasty first things first <clears throat> The national champs are under investigation for possible violations. Shocking, right? Shocking. <laughs> Just shocking, man. Unbelievable. Probing for violations. Lane looking good, man. But anyway, man, let's check out the uh, conference outlook real quick. And remember, we are in the SEC, so here's the conference outlook. Um, I think the way the conference outlook look, this is how they project the conference to finish after the season is over with. So the defending SEC champs are the Florida Gators. They beat, I think it was Alabama in the SEC title for the last season. So they got Auburn finishing first, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, LSU. Ooh, LSU on a two-year probation, so they might not finish fifth. South CAC, man, Mississippi State on a two-year probation also. Wow. Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky, Ole Miss, and we are at the bottom of the map. So let's check out the uh, top 25 real quick. And we got the defending champs, Oklahoma Sooners at number one, Texas, Auburn, Georgia, Florida State. That's your top five. So we got two teams out of the Big 12, two out of the SEC, and one out of the ACC. The runners up from last year, USC, and check that out. Wouldn't you believe it? They got a two-year probation. <laughs> then you got Penn State. Penn State won the Big Ten last year. You got Alabama, UCLA, and Clemson. That's your top ten. And I think that's all what we're going to pay attention to at this particular time. So, man, um, let's hop into it, man. This is our schedule for this season. We got a big uh, non-conference game against Illinois out of the Big Ten. Then we got a bye. We start SEC play with Kentucky at home. Then we go to Louisville to take on the Cardinals. We go to South CAC. Then we go to Virginia. Then we go to Auburn. Man, we ain't getting no love right there, y'all. We got four road games in a row. Mm. Then we got a bye. Then we got Ole Miss at home. We got Alabama at home. Then we travel to Florida. We got Georgia at home. Then we go to Tennessee and we finish out with, I think, yeah, we finish out with Maryland at home. So um, we got our hands full with this, man. We got our hands full. But anyway, let's hop into it. Let's do it. Brad Nessler here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The players will have to battle the rain in today's contest between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Welcome to the first week of the college football season. Opening day is always filled with miraculous plays and bitter defeats. And here come the Commodores. The Fighting Illini are favored to win this game, but I think anything can happen today. Kirk, your thoughts? Illinois is going to be all over the quarterback in this one, Coach. Having one of the most gifted athletes at defensive end makes this defense that much better. He'll help his defense force some turnovers and get to win. Yo, there's only one winning team today. I'm picking Illinois. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. And it's a short kickoff. Number 18 takes it at the 21. Line eye. Go with the eye formation. Thomas hands it off straight ahead. Look at the power. Tackle 
made at the 40. The Commodore bringing the nickel package. Gets past the tackler. Williams brings him down at the 50-yard line. A flag was thrown during the tackle, and I think everybody in the stadium saw that face mask. Personal foul. Face mask on the the football. Illinois comes out of the shotgun. Look at the throw. And he's hammered as he lets it go. Now getting downfield and downing the ball, giving his defense good field position. Steps up in the pocket. He rolls out to the right. He lets it go. It's complete. And he's the Commodore. Line up with three wide. They'll give it off here. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Vanderbilt lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He rifles it. Got it to his receiver. The Commodore set up in the gun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Got it. And he's tackled. A short run gets them the score. Thomas lines up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Gets a tackler. He steps up. Look out! The senior makes the catch. And he's leveled. What a hit. They're fighting a line out. Come out in the shotgun. Smith gets in the backfield for a loss. Thomas. Comes to the line with three wide. And they got him for a loss. Illinois sets up in the eye. Thomas drops back to pass. He passes it. It's caught off the tip. The Commodore line up with a nickel back. Shakes off a tackle. Tries to juke. What a collision. Thomas to the air on first down. Smith will make the sack. The Illini are lining up with three receivers. He's looking to pass. Thomas loses it. It's scooped up, and it's the lineman that's got it. And he's leveled. What a hit. Illinois lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Fumble! And they fall on the loose ball. Three wideouts here. He drives back. Toss is short. Complete. He's taken down. Gun here. It's a pass on third and short. Looking. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Back to pass. He flings it. Finds the freshman. Vanderbilt lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw for the first. Caught. Nelson brings him down. Vanderbilt sets up with four receivers. Surveys the field. He lets it fly. Watkins with the... They line up in the shotgun. Broke away from one. And now the ball is loose. Recovered by the defense. How about that play, coach? Nice play from the key part of this defense. This safety is a big-time football player. And Thomas, back in the gun. Thomas, looking to throw on first down. Oh, great catch. Formation here. Drops back to pass. Thomas zips it right. Freeman with a takedown at the 45. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Going with the shotgun here. Thomas back to pass. And he brings it down. And he's got the touchdown. He hauled in the long pass. Lines up in a shotgun set. Back. He looks, rolls to the right, he flings it right, and he's got him again. Death. Drops back to pass, looks, he throws it, the freshman makes the catch. The Illini bring in their dime package. Back to pass, looking, home run ball in the air. It's deflected. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Number 16 takes it at the 8. 
Missed tackle. Wide receivers. He drops back. Looks. Number 14. Rifles at left. James with the interception. And down he goes. Thomas has four receivers lined up here. Drops back on first down. Got him as he threw. Brought down at the 18. Thomas on play action. They bring the quarterback down. The Alana come out in the shotgun. Thomas drops back. He passes it. Complete. What a catch. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, the quarterback says three wide. Looks to pass. Looking. He's drilled as he throws. Vanderbilt lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Looking. He zips it. Intercepted. He's got some blockers. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Illini. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Vanderbilt comes out with five receivers. Look at the throw. Number 12 delivers, and he's tackled right away. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Still perfect on the drive. They line up in the shotgun. First down, look at the throw. He looks, and he's going to come up with a sack. Noy lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass, stepping up, rolls right. Number 12, fires in the air. It's intercepted. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. The Illini go with the eye formation. Loses the football. Scooped up by the offense. They'll drop him for a loss. Illinois comes out in the shotgun. Espinoza tackles him behind the line for a while. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. The ball came free. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. That was the fighting Illini. Line up with four wideouts. And he can't get away from the pressure. Great. Commodore line up with Trips Wright. Drops back on first down. Look. And they try to set up a screen. He's gobbled up in the back. The Commodore come out in the shotgun. Looking. Number 12, slings it right, catches it, and they make the stop at the 27-yard line. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe, and it can lead to some really good yardage. Look at the throw. He throws right. He tackled. At the Get it right in the game as well. The Commodore set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Looking, chucks it deep down the right side. And got him to the 10. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. The halfback got his number called on the pass play. And King coming up. And if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Well, if they want to tie this thing up, they need to convert right here. Number 12 delivers. Caught it. And the conversion is good. This is what this game is all about. The Commodore line up in a nickelback. He drops back. He throws right. Complete. What a catch. The Commodore bring in the nickel pack. Thomas back to throw. Thomas gets taken down for the sack. Thomas is walking off Brown. Lines up in the shotgun. Brown drops back. He lets it go. And it's caught. Williams with the tackle at the 46-yard line. He brought him down with a face mask, so this is a pretty easy call. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. The Illini are lining up with three receivers. Tackle for a loss. The defense sets up in the nickel. Broke away from one. He throws. It's complete. The 10. And it pays off. Touchdown. Smokes, coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Illinois really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Illinois 27, Vanderbilt 21. All right, man, that's going to wrap up 
like the game, man. This was some straight up Michael based and bull crap, man. Just unbelievable. The untimely fumble. The all of a sudden untimely holding call at the end of the game. That right there pretty much decided this game, man. Because the the throw had to be to the first down marker or out of bounds. And we wasn't gonna stop the clock unless that happened. So it is what it is, man. Um not bad for the first game to see how the team uh, responds to adversity. They responded pretty good, but we had a lot of blown um, coverages, man. Um, mainly, the free safety was the problem that I seen. For those that don't know, the free safety is on the weak side of the field, the left-hand side of the field. If you're looking at it from the way the game is set up. But anyway, man, we had 18 first downs, 385 total yards of offense, 6 yards out of 7 attempts on the ground, 29 for 43 for 1 TD, 379 passing yards. We were only sacked once, so there's no blame on the offensive line. The offensive line held how they were supposed to hail man hold but uh third down conversion five for seven 71 percent that is awesome um other than that man the turnovers got us in trouble we had two fumbles that we lost that was costly and the five picks now i took the starting quarterback out uh schumer because his accuracy ain't where i want it to be at with the play calling i'm calling so um i put in the backup well, he's a third string quarterback and he done pretty good to say the least. But um Um individually let's check that out. So uh Jacob Free, he finished the game. He finished with a 131.5 QB rating, 15 for 22 for 198 yards with one T D, three INTs. So the quarterback play wasn't the issue. I just got tired of some of these throws being overthrown and too wide or too far. So uh, it is what it is on that. Uh, receiving, uh, Davion, uh, Devon, uh, Donovan. Oh, that's a crazy way to pronounce that. Donovan Tennyson, he had 11 receptions for 165 yards. Chris Pierce had six. Jackson Winrow, he had five. Liskum, he had five also. So, um, it is what it is with it. Defensively, Josh Smith, six tackles, five for a loss, three sacks. Man was balling. I like what I saw in him. Uh, Andrew Rector, strong safety. He had five tackles, two for a loss. He came up on a lot of run support and on stopping the quarterback on some of those scrambles. John Espinosa. This was that Juco linebacker that we recruited during the offseason. He had five tackles, five for a loss with three sacks, so he was doing his thing. Williams, he had four tackles on the day also. Um, there it is right here. This is the problem that I see in the deep secondary. Mike Freeman, he's a true freshman. Um, I like to run a lot of man uh, defenses because the way I like to blitz. But uh, we was getting good penetration out of the B-gaps all game. We was causing problems. But the coverage on the backside, since I, it's a man blitz, it has to be on point. We cannot allow these blank just walking touchdowns like we had. Mike Freeman, I mean, he did his thing, but... I'm gonna have to figure out something because we gave up 21 points on his side of the field with the person he was supposed to be covering. So, um, he a true freshman. I can't knock him too bad, but this is something I'm gonna have to address. I don't know how I'm gonna address it yet, but uh, it is what it is with that, man. So, um, that's gonna wrap this one up. I hope y'all like the debut with the new Vanderbilt Commodores Dynasty. Till next time, peace.